This is the new BMW XM, and it's the most powerful road car BMW has ever made. And it's the first car built exclusively for the M division since the M1 supercar from the 1970s. It'll also come with a brand new hybrid system that gives it more power than any other SUV on sale, including the brand new Ferrari Puro Sangue. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. Buy, sell, car, wow. The new BMW XM looks very similar to the XM concept that was revealed last year. Say what you like about BMW design, at least they stick to their guns when they turn concept cars into road cars. It even has the same lit-up kidney grills as the concept, with near-identical split headlights with hidden main beams. You get 21-inch wheels as standard, but most buyers will probably upgrade to the optional 22 or even 23-inch alloys to really fill the XM squared off wheel arches. The side skirts aren't quite as massive as the ones on the concept, but the sloping roof line and the contrasting bits of trim around the windows are very similar. It's the same story at the back. The rear lights have an equally sharp design and you get a massive rear diffuser with four exhaust pipes arranged in two vertical stacks. Look closely at the top corners of the rear windscreen and you'll spot two engraved BMW logos that are inspired by the original M1 supercar. It's definitely an imposing looking design, but what do you think about it? Do you like the look of the new BMW XM or would you prefer something a bit more subtle like a Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT? I'll put a pinned comment down below so you can vote which is your favourite of those two. The XM comes with an upgraded version of BMW's tried and tested 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 engine. It's based on the one you get in the M5, but it has a reinforced crankshaft and new oil pump. These aren't exactly earth shattering changes, so don't go expecting record breaking amounts of power. In fact, the new V8 produces 489 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. But BMW has also given the XM a new hybrid system that uses technology from next year's BMW Le Mans hypercar. There's a 197 horsepower electric motor that can drive all four wheels through the XM's eight-speed automatic gearbox. That automatic gearbox also has a wet clutch that allows the V8 engine to engage and disengage as smoothly as possible when the electric motor needs a bit of help. With the engine and motor working together at full whack, the XM has a total of 653 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque to play with. That's 18 horsepower more than you get in the BMW M5 CS. That means the XM is the most powerful BMW road car ever. But there'll also be an even more powerful version along next year, and I'll tell you a bit more about that in a bit. The new BMW XM's interior isn't as polarizing as the exterior. It comes with all the usual BMW hallmarks, including a two-piece wraparound infotainment screen borrowed from the iX and i4. You also get a set of M Sport seats with loads of electrical adjustment and a range of massage functions as standard. There's also a unique steering wheel, illuminated metal kick plates, matte effect carbon fiber, and loads of leather on the dashboard and doors. There's also swathes of Alcantara everywhere, including on the door pillars and the roof, where you also get a 3D effect headlining with built-in LEDs. These could prove really handy because the XM's rear windows have a very heavy tint that only lets in 5% of the available light. Perfect for keeping out the paparazzi. The back seats have also been designed with extra padding on the outer edges so passengers can swivel sideways and talk to each other more comfortably. Well, as long as there isn't anyone sitting in between them. The new BMW XM is massive. It's more than 5.1 meters long and over two meters wide. This makes it the widest road car BMW has ever made. Combine this with all those posh interior features and that new hybrid system, and you end up with a seriously hefty SUV. How heavy is it exactly? The new XM weighs in at a colossal 2,710 kilograms. That's twice as heavy as the last car built exclusively for BMW's M division, the M1 supercar. Okay, so that was made in the 70s when cars were generally smaller and lighter. So how does the XM compare to a modern SUV? Well, it's also 50 kilos heavier than a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And that car is chock full of dead cows, walnut trees, and a huge 6.75 litre V12 engine. BMW said it fitted the XM's hybrid battery under the floor to get the car's center of gravity as close to the ground as possible. This is to minimize the impact of the battery's weight on the car's handling. But there's no escaping the fact that the XM weighs about a ton more than an M4 competition. In fact, if you ignore BMW's 3.3 ton gross weight limit and fill the XM with five 120 kilogram passengers and 190 kilograms of luggage, then it would weigh 3.5 tons. Any car that weighs more than 3.5 tons is classed as a large goods vehicle in the United Kingdom, and you have to pass a special lorry driving test before you can legally drive them. Of course, it's illegal to load a car beyond its maximum gross weight anyway, so don't get any ideas, XM buyers. 
How does all this weight affect the XM's performance? Well, BMW says it'll accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.3 seconds. That's the same 0-60 time as an M240i and an M760e hybrid. That doesn't sound particularly quick now, does it? In fact, the XM is one of the slowest full-fat BMW M cars you can buy. The X3M and the X6M are both quicker. They do 0-60 in 3.8 seconds. And even the non-competition versions of the M3 with the manual gearbox and rear-wheel drive do 0-60 in 4.2 seconds. But what about top speed? Is that any more impressive? Well, in true BMW fashion, the XM is electronically limited to 155 miles an hour. But you can pay extra to bump this up to 168 miles an hour if you get the M Drivers Pack. That's pretty fast, but it's much slower than cars like the Lamborghini Urus Performante and the Aston Martin DBX 707, or of course, the Ferrari Puro Sangue. All of these will hit at least 190 miles an hour. But don't worry, BMW has a trick of its sleeve. Next year, you'll be able to get an even more powerful version of the XM called the Label Red. Or should that be the Label Red, yeah. You can think of this as a step above BMW's normal M competition cars. The XM Label Red will have 748 horsepower and 1,000 newton meters of torque. That's pretty much the same stats as the original XM concept. And it's 95 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque more than you get in the standard XM. It's also 23 more horsepower than the Ferrari Puro Sangue has. This means the forthcoming XM Label Red is set to become the most powerful SUV with an internal combustion engine ever made. But will it also be the quickest and the fastest SUV of all time? Well, BMW hasn't revealed any stats for this high-performance version just yet. So you have to wait until I review one to find out. Some performance-focused hybrids have very small batteries. Take the brand new AMG C63S, for example. That has a dinky 6.1 kilowatt hour battery that can only power the car by itself on electric power for eight miles before the engine has to kick in. The XM has a much more substantial 25.7 kilowatt hour battery. This holds enough juice to power the car for more than 50 miles on electric power alone. You can also drive it at speeds of 87 miles an hour in pure EV mode, but you can engage the twin turbo V8 at any time by flooring the throttle and hitting the kick down switch, or of course, putting the car into sport or sport plus mode. Fully charging the battery takes just over four hours using a seven kilowatt charger, or you can use the V8 as a generator to recharge the batteries while you're driving though this will not be very efficient, of course. The BMW XM doesn't come with air suspension like the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT. Instead, it gets good old-fashioned steel springs. But you do get adaptive dampers as standard and electronic anti-roll bars to help stop it leaning in fast corners. These can disconnect themselves when you're just cruising in a straight line, so they don't affect comfort at all. The XM also is the first BMW N car to come with active rear-wheel steering. This helps to make it more maneuverable around town and more stable at higher speeds. Switching between comfort, sport, and sport plus modes changes the settings for all these features, and it adjusts the programming for the XM standard electronic limited slip rear differential. This sends extra power to the outside rear wheel when it corners to reduce understeer, just like in the M5. But BMW had to beef up the differential to deal with the extra torque of the XM's hybrid system. But what about the sound? Composer Hans Zimmer has already worked his orchestral magic on the BMW i4 and the iX, and the i7 electric cars. Now though, he's having a go at composing a soundtrack for the hybrid XM. This means the car plays the usual range of futuristic hums and whooshes through the stereo when you're driving in pure electric mode. These effects have also been tweaked to complement the sounds of the XM's twin turbo V8 when you stick it into sport or sport plus mode. The XM also has an active exhaust with adjustable volume flaps and sensors that monitor these sounds and play an amplified version of the engine noise directly into the cabin. Yes, even a 750 horsepower BMW needs a bit of help to sound good these days. But BMW hasn't just tried to make the new car louder, it's fitted special subframe mounts to the front axle to muffle road noise, and it programmed the gearbox's wet clutch to allow a tiny bit of slip at low revs to help reduce vibrations. So, the XM should be pretty relaxing to drive when you aren't hooning it around. The new BMW XM is on sale now and costs from just under £145,000. That's about £5,000 less than a Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, and about £90,000 less than the new Lamborghini Urus Performante. But it's almost £40,000 more than a BMW M5 competition. BMW also hasn't said how much the even more powerful label red version will cost. But seeing as it's going to be the most powerful BMW ever made and it goes on sale in autumn 2023, it's not going to be cheap. Don't be surprised if it ends up costing close to £200,000. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to see how much money you can save on your next car. Thanks for watching.